Hey guys, it's Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at modeling a drawer. This was a request that came up during a live stream. We asked if, you know, what things should we model? And somebody mentioned a drawer. We've talked about, we've done a couple of videos in the past. Where we've done, you know, dovetails and how to model pieces of wood that fit together, but we've never done a comprehensive thing like this. So um, it's going to go a little bit quick. So if you want to go into more detail on like the dovetails or individual pieces, I recommend checking those out on our YouTube page. Uh, otherwise, we're going to hop in and model a drawer. All right. So here's, here's the thing we're going to model. So, uh, it's uh, we got a bottom right here and then the four pieces that make up the uh, outside of the drawer and then a front piece on here. So we're going to model all of that out of these two things. These are just rectangles. That's right. I drew rectangles. So I drew a rectangle and this is I think it's like an eighth inch uh, tall rectangle right here. Yeah. And then over here, I think I have a half inch piece. Yeah. And then that is what four inches tall, something like that. OK, there we go. Pretty simple. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this piece right here and we're going to cut a groove for this to go into. So I'm going to come into context. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to come up, I don't know, an eighth of an inch, 316, something like that. I'm going to come in an eighth of an inch, up an eighth of an inch. So just an eighth inch square, basically, right on the side there. And we'll just cut that through. There we go. So now what that lets me do is let's, let's that sit right there so we're going it's moving into that slot right there perfect all right now what we're going to do is we're going to make some dovetails so the way we're going to do this is we're going to come into the end piece here and i'm going to work i want to evenly divide this into multiple pieces i'm going to work off this outside edge rather than the inside edge because the inside edge is now short because i made this cut i could have done this first and cut that afterwards but i didn't so I'm going to select this edge and I'm going to say divide. I'm going to divide it to like uh, an odd number. So we'll say like seven segments. Perfect. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to do this. And then what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll grab this point and I'll drop it down like that. And then this one will come up. There we go. And I'll take that and I will option copy it from this point oops, or option move to copy to there and we'll say do that two times there we go now what we can do is just take that and I'll push that in we'll push that in one half of one inch all three awesome and now what we need to do is we need to actually copy that same geometry onto the other side. So there's several different ways I could go about this. I'm going to do quick and dirty modeling right here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. I'm going to view I'm going to component, edit, hide rest of model. I don't need to see the rest of everything else in the world as I do this. So quick and easy. I don't have this set to an exact length right now. So it's just kind of a piece of wood. So I can say, grab this option mirror like that. I can just grab that, delete it, and then we'll go turn component edit, hide similar components or hide rest of the model off. And then I can grab, oops, I grab the edge of the window and not the uh, geometry I want to move. I'm going to grab this geometry right here and we'll move it back like that. Do the same thing here. Grab that geometry. Slide it back. There we go. So now I got that. My ends of my drawers are done. So what I can do now is I can say, we'll just mirror again along the middle of this piece of wood right here. We got those two ends. Now I need a piece to come out and fill this in. Now, I did not do this very well because if I had been planning ahead, I would have copied that original piece because uh, you can see this piece is not going to work at all. But fortunately, I'm pretty good at cleaning up my own messes. So if I just double click like that, then I can go, there we go, cleaned up again. Um, I have in the past teased Tyson, who does some of our live models, for leaving what I call a graveyard of parts. 
And he always tells me that that's very useful because if you have a graveyard of parts, then you can always go back to a previous piece. And uh, well, I'll be, he does seem to be correct. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to trace the cutouts. Like that. And then I will push those back maybe I could try doing it this way there we go click click this one's being weird because if I hide the rest of my model real quick see what's happening there is that because I got that little piece right there so uh, I'll have to clean that up like this not a big deal pretty easy to fix and I'm gonna do the same thing I did before so I'm just gonna grab all this geometry I'm gonna say mirror it and I'm gonna option mirror it right here just select and delete those lines in the middle. It's gonna make it all one piece. Now, if I come back out, it's looking pretty good, but it's got some issues. We got issues. So let's start, we'll show the rest of the model and I will grab this, drop this back. Oh, perfect. So I got good, good looking dovetails right here. What I don't have is it's not in the right place, right? Everything is off because that's, the, that's my bottom and it's poking through and it, it shouldn't be. So, uh, I found that one way to deal with this kind of stuff is to temporarily turn on x-ray. Tap x on your keyboard, you'll get x-ray up, and then I can see exactly where I want this to be. I want this to pull back to here. There we go. Now, all of our pieces are sitting inside the rail. Perfect. I can grab this one, mirror that option to the middle of this board right here. That looks good. Of course, this is in the wrong spot too now. So what I gotta do is take this piece and move it. How, how far out are we? I bet we're exactly a half inch away from being where we're supposed to be. So let's try that. Let's pull it out like this. Let's see. Nope, oh, three quarters of an inch, obviously. All right, last step then is to just grab these pieces right here and we can just pull them straight out like this and then over here. I didn't make this a component. That could have saved me some time because I, I would have only had to change one. And there we go. There's the base base part of our drawer. The last thing we st I stuck on this drawer over here was a, a just kind of a, a front. Uh, this would be the decorative piece. So I can do that same thing here. I'm going to hit rectangle. And I'm going to hit the s draw from center option. So in, on, on uh, Mac, that's the option key. And I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle of this bring that over, find the middle of this, bring that down, and there we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a rectangle like that and pull that out, say half an inch. Then I can pull each of these sides up like this. Quick and easy modeling. This is if I don't, I mean, if I had, if I'm working from a set of plans or I have exact measurements, obviously it's a little easier. Uh, I'm gonna pull that out half an inch on each side and then I made kind of a, a front here. All I did was grab it and we'll offset, uh, yeah, I'll say three eighths of an inch and three eighths of an inch again. And then I'll grab this piece and I will move it forward. So I'm gonna pull it out like that. Uh, maybe, yeah, like a quarter or something like that. And that just gives me a little bit of relief on the front of the drawer there. But there we go. There's all the pieces you would need. Got a nice looking functional drawer all the if I needed to I could actually lay these pieces out and take them into the shop and cut it out and have a perfectly working drawer so I should have started with this but there are of course dozens of ways to build something like a drawer it's not a one and done thing this is absolutely something people can broke with you could do pocket hole, oh, I said the P word, pocket holes. Some people like those, some don't. Uh, it doesn't have to be dovetails. You could angle cut and glue and nail. There's there's so many different ways to make those four pieces of wood come together. This was just a way that I thought of when I saw, can you model a drawer? And that's what I did. Uh, if you have a different way of doing it, I'd love to hear about that too. So leave that down in the comments and let me know uh, if there's other ways you would have gone about creating a drawer model uh, and maybe we'll pick them and uh, show them right here on our channel. If you like that video, click like down below and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We like making these videos a lot. Remember, you like them more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.